Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be my favourites for the month of July and for real this time I can't actually believe that it's August, like the 8th month of the year. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. Anyway, I am going to be telling you guys all about my favourites for this month. I have a few. I actually have a lot of favourites for August from the stuff that I bought when I was in Thailand. I'm mentioning one of the things that I bought now but the other ones I've only been trying for like a week or so but this one I've been trying since I was in Thailand and I freaking love it but anyway I'm going to get into my favourites because we all know that I talk a lot so let's just jump right into it. My favourite movie for the month of July would have to be Ant-Man. I think that was the only movie that I saw in July that wasn't like a repeat of what I'd already seen because when we were on the plane obviously I watched a few movies but I really loved Ant-Man. It sounds like a dumb concept, like I'm not even gonna lie. Like when I tell people they should go watch it, they're like, oh, what's it about? I'm like, it's a man that can like shrink to the size of an ant and they're kind of like, okay, and why should I watch this? But I thought it was a really good movie. Marvel make amazing movies. This, everybody knows this, and it was a really good one. I, I thought it looked good from the trailer, so I was already interested in seeing it, but yeah, it was really good and I definitely recommend seeing it before it goes out of the movies. My favourite TV show this month has unfortunately been Pretty Little Liars. I am so hooked to that show, like, it's, I, I don't know how I haven't had a Pretty Little Liars related dream. Corbett is shaking his head right now. It's so room. bad. It is bad. I've it's talked. so <laughs> bad. I've explained to everyone, everybody knows. But I think that it's bad, but I'm just so addicted. I've seen like a primary school production have better acting than that show. It's just because they're all super attractive. It's crap, but it's good. It's a good kind of crap. Anyway, I've been so obsessed with that show. Um, yeah, I haven't actually watched anything else, I don't think. Moving right into my favorite makeup products, we're gonna start off with a makeup brush because it segues into one of my products this month. This is an Exo Beauty blending brush. I love all of my EXO Beauty brushes. I use majority of them on a, if not a daily, a weekly basis. But this one I've been using every single day. I have two of this brush, which is a good thing because I use this for my concealer. This is the blending brush. I think I already said that. It's a synthetic duo, duo fiber type brush. It's got longish bristles. Like it's longer than the little mini kabuki brushes. Those are probably like up to here. Like as long as the brown bristles are on this one, if that makes sense. But I love this for blending out my under eye concealer and like my, like more of my highlight concealer when I'm not trying to actually really conceal like a spot. This is probably a little bit too bit big for spot concealing, but for like concealer and then like highlight down the center of my face, this is such a good brush. You could probably also, if you had like two of them, you wouldn't want to mix the powder with the cream, but you could probably use this to blend out um, like setting powder and stuff. And obviously this is good for eyeshadows too, but I do really love these sorts of like synthetic brushes for cream products. The concealer that I like to blend out with that brush is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I love this stuff. It's not like as groundbreaking as everybody makes it out to be. I don't know why I'm not like absolutely like, oh my god, like over the moon about it, but I do love it. It's NC15, um, in the shade NC15, and I don't know. I feel like I am actually a genius though because I've mastered how to pump out like a little bit of it whereas everybody else is like oh, I always get too much but I always get like nearly the perfect amount. The past couple like the past week I've been really bad at pumping it but I used to be like able to get just the right amount but anyway it's definitely a really good concealer. I'm not too sure off the top of my head how much it is in New Zealand. I got it through duty free and I think it was 32 so I'm guessing it must be like 41 to 45 dollars like non duty free but yeah um I really like it. I do wish it didn't have glass packaging though, luckily my floor is carpet otherwise it would already be broken, I can guarantee you that, but yeah, I do quite enjoy this concealer. Quickly going back to skincare, I have really been enjoying this one from Philosophy. Um, I only just noticed that it has cracked. I know that the top of it cracked when I was travelling, but the crack's gone right the way down. It's really weird because you can't actually feel it, but I must have cracked it during travel, I don't know if you guys can see. But this is the Miracle Worker and... I feel like I've used heaps of it, but there's like no dent, like, I feel like that's how much came with it. But anyway, this is just a really mild, like, looks like exfoliant, no, it's a really mild moisturiser. It's supposed to, it says philosophy, to witness a miracle is to know yourself, vital, brilliant, heavenly in body and spirit. Like, they have the weirdest product descriptions. It's supposed to be a miraculous anti-aging moisturiser, just, I don't know if this is meant for my age group, but I really like it. It's like thin, but moisturising. It just basically is supposed to give you plump soft skin, easily absorbing, which I can I can vouch for it absorbs really quickly. 
blah blah blah. I, it sounds like it is for like aging older skin so I don't know if it's perfect for everyone but I it works well for my skin and it's just light so I really like it. A mascara that I have been enjoying lately is one that I didn't expect to like. I don't know I don't I generally I haven't tried that many CoverGirl mascaras I think I might have tried some when I was younger but I'm not really crazy about them but I'm really liking their new Full Lash Bloom mascara. I don't think I've seen this one in New Zealand stores yet. I got sent this I think it might have came while I was away maybe slightly before I don't know but I've had it for at least two to three weeks and I'm really enjoying it. It's just a like plastic brush. The first few times I used it I like stabbed myself in the eye. Like not just kind of like poked my eye like I almost went blind. Like this is not a good mascara one to put near your eyeball if you're prone to like stabbing yourself because it really hurts. Public service announcement. Like I've never had a mascara hurt me more but it is a really nice mascara. I am wearing it today. It's just really... I would say it's really lengthening, really separating. I feel like it helps to hold my lashes natural curl, it enhances the curl. It does volumize my lashes, um, just kind of like the right amount of volume, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't make them like turn into like one giant eyelash, it doesn't make them clump, but it looks really pretty. I really love this mascara, and I think their mascaras are like tw less than $25, so yeah, it's pretty good. Another product that I've really been enjoying ever since I got back from Thailand, because I'm going back, I've been back at work slash school, whatever you want to call it. Um, is a skin or flesh coloured eyeliner. I have been enjoying my MAC Chromographic Pencil in NC15 NW20. I'm wearing it today in my waterline, you guys can see. It just helps to really open up the eyes, especially because when I go to school I would never wear this much eye makeup, maybe just a little bit of inner eye highlight, um, just because I don't like to wear too much makeup to school. Um, but this just helps to make me look awake. It helps to make my makeup look look more put together. So I've really been liking this one over the white because I think it's better for more natural days. So definitely have been enjoying this. And by the way, this product can be used to like line around your lips to make them look more sharp as well. It's not just for the eye area. You can use it anywhere. An eyeshadow palette that I have really been loving lately is the Maybelline The Nudes palette. And basically every time bar today that I have done ooh, my makeup, I have used this palette in some way, shape or form. I just really love it. I've heard so many mixed things about this palette and its pigmentation, but I just think it's really good. The pigmentation isn't like out of this world amazing, oh my god, I'm going to die pigmentation. But it is still, whoops, just dug my finger on it. It still is really nicely pigmented. I find that the matte shades are easy to work with. They blend well. You don't get too much product on your brush that you're like, holy crap, I've like over blended, put too much on kind of deal. I think it's just really good. The shimmery shades have a decent amount of pigmentation. You will have to work with them more than like, I don't know, a MAC eyeshadow or like a Too Faced eyeshadow or a Vlorock one. Um, but it still is really good. And if you guys want to see, I just recently did a tutorial earlier in the week on this um, eyeshadow palette. And I always have a giveaway in that video. So I'll leave it linked off down below if you guys want to know more about that. But yeah, I do really, really love this palette. And my final favourite of this month are the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lips. I forgot they were called for a second. Before anybody asks, I got this little glass from Daiso. I really really like it. It was like $3 or however much their products are, $3.50. Um, I own four shades currently. I have five. Learn to count. I have five shades currently. I have five more either being packed or shipping from the... Probably by the time you guys are seeing this I will be being shipped to me from Colourpop because they recently came back in stock. Hallelujah! I haven't checked the website um, until this video is going up but I will leave their um, website linked off down below so that you guys can check if they're back in stock. But these are amazing. I am going to mention, I think that they are perfect in every way, shape and form. You, I don't think I've ever tried a better liquid lipstick formula. They're better than the Velour Lips. They're better than, they're better or equivalent to the Sleek ones. They're better than the Lime Crime ones. I do prefer this formula to the Jeffree Star ones. These are very drying. They go on like a liquid. They mattify in like less than 30 seconds. I just love that though. I love that dry feeling from a liquid lipstick. I don't really necessarily want my lips to feel hydrated because then I mean it's going to come off. These last a really long time. If I had to pick my favourites, I really like Trap and Solo. Solo, those two are probably my favourite. That is Trap, eh? Yeah. But as I said, I really like this one too. I've worn this one a lot. This one is Sunday. This one is Tool, which looks so much darker on me than it does in the tube and then I've also got midi which I wear quite a lot but not as much as the others but 
any time that I've been wearing lipstick in any of my recent videos, I think by like one of them, I've been wearing these. So definitely recommend for $6 American, such a good deal. And I think I went house with my friend Emily on shipping and I calculated out, we bought about, I think we got 10 shades plus shipping costs and everything like that. They ended up being $12 New Zealand each. So that's a really good deal. Anyway, enough raving about these. Do let me know if you want to see a swatch video on my 10 shades, by the way, when they come in. Let me know if that would be interesting to you guys. So that's it for my favourites for the month of July. Do let me know what your guys' favourites were because I would definitely be interested to know. If you want to see more things from me on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. The button's down there somewhere. Um, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. If you have any other video requests, please post them down below. I would love some ideas on what you guys would like to see. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!